Saturday, May 29th. I kind of have a little dilemma. It's about 3.45, and I have only drank 64 ounces of water. Typically, I would have 96 down by 4 o'clock, and then I would give myself from 4 o'clock to the end of the night or whenever I go to bed to finish just one more, and that's pretty easy. And I worked 10 to 3 today, but I've only drank 64 ounces of water. Why is it a little harder to do that during like the weekends? And I know if you watched last week's vlog, I had my pizza. And I know that pizza is still in my system. Do carbs like that make me feel so full? Because I feel really full, like right now. And all I've had today was my cereal this morning for breakfast. But I'm just trying to figure this out. And I just don't understand today. I might have to do some Googling today. Hmm. Monday, May 31st. Mondays are so hard to get out of bed. This Sundays. Sunday yesterday, I was like, I'm so ready for Monday to just get back in my routine, work out, go to work, all that shit. And then Monday morning comes and I'm just like, no. <laughs> I didn't want to do anything. But I got up, I did it. It's done for the day, I accomplished it. <sighs> now my main focus today is to just drink my gallon of water. Oh. But I'm gonna go have some breakfast. Happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> you know, I've also heard a lot of people always say, how do people get up in the morning and work out? I'm just tired, I just wanna sleep. Very true, because I feel like that some days. Today was one of them. I guess I just wanna share with you guys that it was about 10 minutes maybe into my workout today that I was, I was getting into it. I was like, yes, let's go. And for me, that woke me up. Some people, they say, oh, I get up and take a shower right away. It wakes me up. No, that's not for me. Like, for me personally, that makes me tired. Like, I want to go back to bed if it's a nice hot shower or whatever. But, yeah, it, I mean, once you, you just got to change your mind and just think, okay, I have to do this. Get out of bed. And then once you get into it, you're, you're fine. I mean, at least for me. <sighs> Tuesday, June 1st. We're, we're in June! Oh my gosh, we're in June. Wow, literally like halfway over with 2021. Like, what is up with that? Oh my gosh. But anyway, uh, June 1st, uh, happy basically summer now, you guys. Uh, it was very hot today and it was gorgeous. I did not even go for a walk, so that's on me. But anyway, I did do my workout this morning and I have a little story to tell you guys about that workout. So I did my workout this morning and I actually like to work out in these white white adidas that I bought last summer and I finish my workout I sit at the table I'm eating my my raisin bran and I have a cup of chocolate milk that I've been drinking after every workout now and something tragic happened you can probably guess I was a two-year-old and spilled my chocolate milk Yes, it went down my shirt, on my shorts, and I swear it was like in slow motion matrix stuff. It, I felt it just hit my shoe. Yes, it hit my shoe, but good thing I got, I don't know, good reflexes, whatever. I rushed to the sink, I turned on the hot water, flipped my shoe off, and needless to say, so yes, I got the stain out. It ended up like here on the shoe. It was bad. It was bad. I think there's like a little dot, few dots here and there of like maybe some discoloration or whatever, but I'm not gonna lie. When it happened, I looked at Michaela and my eyes filled with tears and I cried because I was so scared that I just ruined them and I was like, I love these shoes. It was bad. Um, but that was breakfast. Uh, that was Tuesday, June 1st. Happy summer, everybody. Wednesday, June 2nd. I want to take a second here and be really honest with you guys. Oh, I just finished my workout. And this week, 
I just, I haven't felt like these workouts have been to my full potential. But I'm trying. And I feel like, like bad about it. I feel like, oh, you could do better. You could do so much better. But I keep telling myself, you worked out. That alone, <sighs> that alone is a huge success for today. But I just feel bad. I just feel like I haven't given my best. And I just need to remember that even if I'm feeling like I'm not doing 100% or 110, I'm still giving 100 by just getting out of bed and doing these workouts. So if you ever feel like that, if you at least got your workout in, just, that's enough. That's enough for the day. And I'm just trying to, trying to remember that. I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's in the real, in the real time moment. And uh, as much as I hate saying how I feel sometimes on here, I just feel like at some point and somewhere it's going to help one of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I have my breakfast. Hold on. There's something I have to do. All right, I'm ready for breakfast. Still Wednesday, June 2nd, and I just wanted to share this uh, with you guys because it made me smile. So I'm at work and Jennifer walks in. She came and brought me this uh, little Yankee candle and it's uh, Bahama Breeze and it smells so good. And she says, I thought of you when I seen this because I know we're not able to go to the beach uh, this year or this summer, but I just thought you could have like a little piece of, or a little, s she just thought of me. And I just thought it was the sweetest thing ever. Uh, so thank you, Jennifer, for that. It really made my day. And we're not gonna go to the beach this, this summer, but we're gonna go do something. So it's gonna be fun. And we will go to the beach again. <laughs> What's up guys, it is Friday, June 4th, and another week is gone. Uh, I think this is the third, the third weight loss vlog I've done for these. And I just wanna say that this week was a little bit different than previous, the previous few weeks. I, this week I felt like my best wasn't good enough. And I think that I was really too hard on myself. I'm not sure why I felt that way, but maybe it was because I was looking at my workout little chart thingies in my Fitbit and they weren't as, it'll show you like how many calories you burn or whatever and I don't think that mine were as high as what they had been in the past. And so I just felt a little hard on myself about that <clears throat> when I really shouldn't have been because it doesn't really matter how intense of a workout that I do, the fact of the matter is that I got out of bed. I did these workouts, I moved my body, and that is enough. And I think that is the lesson that I learned this week is that is enough. You know, some days and sometimes that just getting out of bed, doing your workout, and then eating your breakfast and drinking your water, that's enough for the day. And on the scale this week, I actually lost 1.4 pounds. And that's a really good amount. I believe for me to lose it's gonna be easier to keep it off I did face a couple of struggles this week um, with that being one of them and my other struggle this week was my foot my left foot uh, I have flat feet they're really flat so I'm gonna try and describe this but say this is your foot right this you know like the bendy part it just felt sore this week, kind of like overused which made no sense to me because I got up, worked out, went to work, came home, did whatever. My days were normal. During my workout yesterday, I did do it and I wrapped my foot up uh, just for like a little more support and it it was harder. I was, I was kind of afraid to go a little more intense on the workout. So I just kind of took it a little slower and I told myself that if today, Friday, if it wasn't feeling any better I was gonna skip today's workout because I would rather skip a workout than force my body to do one and have it 
hurt more. And another thing, I had been, last week, I didn't say any of this because I think I did it Saturday. And these videos go up on Saturday and I film them on Friday mornings. But I also went and bought a, a body measuring tape because I wanted to kind of monitor my waist and see if I'm losing inches or if my waist is getting smaller. Just kind of, that, that's kind of the only way that I can visually see it happening. And so I went and bought one and last week it was a certain number, I'm not going to say. And this week it is a different number. Uh, I lost an inch of my waist this week as well, which is kind of really cool to see. And another thing this week, wow, uh, I had noticed I was... I actually had just gotten out of the shower and I was drying myself off. I had the towel back here getting my back and I could see like on the back side of my body that it is significantly smaller and there's not much back there like it used to be and that alone just made me feel so good. I know it takes so many weeks and so long for you to actually physically see the result on yourself but other people will notice it. It's, I just I feel good this week even though I felt like I wasn't doing my best there were signs that I, I seen on the scale I saw my waist shrink I, I seen it in the mirror my back uh, just those results alone consistency and keeping it up really shows that all of this is really paying off and it's only going to continue to do be that way until I get down to somewhere and probably plateau and then I'm gonna have to be forced to go to a gym <laughs> uh, but who knows I'm excited to see what happens next week and hopefully it's another fun one but I'm looking forward to it remember guys drink your water it is your best friend it's gonna help you the most in all of this with that said I will see you all later Forget that. Scrap it. It's not going in the vlog. There might just be some bloopers in here yet.